Praise the Lord today, saints of the Most High God, hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We worship Him today and we thank Him today for His goodness and for His mercy and His grace, hallelujah, and His faith, hope, and love. This is the Word for Today broadcast, coming to you live from the Ozark Mountains in the United States of America. We just bless God we're able to bring the Word of Truth to His people to help them, encourage them, and strengthen them, rebuke them if necessary, to stay the course. Hallelujah. Father, we thank You today for Your Word. Help us to remember, Lord, that You have finished the work in Christ Jesus your son and help us Lord to stay fixed with our eyes fixed upon Jesus and our faith in Jesus the faith that is the Lord Jesus hallelujah that he has given us hallelujah thank you father and crush the serpent dragon under our feet in Jesus name amen hallelujah today's message his faith is full perfected and enough hallelujah because we got to remember this in this hour that we talk about a lot we talk a lot about in, in the Christian uh, faith in the Christian belief we say we have faith but what kind of faith is it? we it says in the word that we are saved by the faith of the Lord Jesus. It's not our faith. It's His faith. It comes from Him. It is Him. He is the faith. Hallelujah. He is the hope. He is the love. Oh, hallelujah. See, if we can get our eyes off of external things, get our eyes out of our own mind and thinking, and get them solely on Jesus. All of our emotions surrendered to Jesus. All of our will surrendered to Jesus. We are going to be able to go through any trial, any testing that God allows. See, God is testing His church in this hour. And it is a severe test in many ways. See, God has you who are listening go through things that my wife and I can't go through or don't go through because it's tailor-made especially for you in your walk with the Lord and you might be as we are many times you know why doesn't anyone understand you know you have this question comes up in your heart and mind why doesn't anyone understand well Jesus understands See, and you can't understand what we go through. We can't understand what you go through to certain degrees. But together, as one body, we are going through it together. So we pray one for another. <coughs> and the Lord brings us through each day, each day, each day. His faith is full. There's nothing lacking in the faith of Jesus. Nothing lacking. Okay? It's full faith, full belief, full trust. It's perfected. His faith is absolutely perfected. It cannot be destroyed. It cannot be limited. His faith. But our faith can be limited because we say it's our faith, my faith. I have faith in this. I have faith that the Lord will do this or the Lord will do that. Let's let's change our language. It's the faith of Jesus. Hallelujah. When God shows you a thing, when God speaks to you something and shows you something that he's, he wants to do or is going to do, you might not understand a single bit about it. But you have faith because God spoke it to you. You know in your heart. You have a witness in your heart. That's the Lord speaking. And so you believe. And that belief comes from Jesus. 
you're trusting in Jesus. This is, it's kind of hard to communicate this truth, but it's the truth, okay? Now let's go to Luke chapter 22. I read this last week. We're going to read it again this week, right now, because this is powerful. I read it earlier, and the Lord showed me something in here too that I'm going to bring out. He's going to bring out through me. Hallelujah. Chapter 22, it says, Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Listen to what this says. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. And that goes for all of us. Oh, yeah. The Lord allows that. But I have prayed for thee. Oh, hallelujah. See, and Jesus is ever living to make intercession for us as well. That thy faith fail not. Oh, praise God. See, he prays for us that our faith fails not. Doesn't that give you encouragement? It does me. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. See, and that's what we're supposed to do. Strengthen one another. In every area of life, strengthen one another. Hallelujah. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both into prison and to death. That's what Peter said. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. Wow. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and scrip and shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it. <coughs> and likewise his scrip. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors for the things concerning me have an end. What does Jesus mean by that? The things concerning him have an end. He means, I believe he means his earthly walk as a full man okay the true humanity if you will he is the full expression of the father contained in bodily form he is a full human being he's operating as a man in this hour as a man he is being tried as a man he is suffering okay and he is fulfilling the will of the Father. Now you look at this test Jesus is going through. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said, it is enough. It is enough. Two swords for the whole Roman Empire? Two swords? <laughs> Grace and peace. Faith and love. <laughs> You know, two swords, that's that's it? That's enough? And Jesus says, yeah, that's enough. You and me, Jesus says. That's enough. We can go into this battle together. He told Vanya, Jesus Christ is going into battle. And Vanya drove himself. Drove the car himself and reported for duty. And his duty was to stand for the faith. And he stood to the very end when they killed him. After putting six holes in his heart and electrocuting him on the face and beating on him. Trying to get him to deny Jesus. But see, Jesus Christ was in Vanya. Jesus Christ is in us, his people. We must remember this. He is the almighty God. He resides in us. Two swords is enough. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise his holy name. 
grace and peace, grace and mercy. Oh, hallelujah. You can just go on and on. And he came out and went as, we, as he was wont to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. This, this, this verse really struck me one day I was reading it. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Sometimes we, in our own walk, we need an angel from heaven to come and strengthen us. Because the way can be and feel barren, can feel like, what are you doing, God? Where are you, Lord? What's happening here? And the Lord will send an angel to strengthen you. One time we were in such an intercession, when we were in Alabama, the Lord put us in this intercession. It was on a Thursday, right before we came back to Arkansas. It was like a week before. And the Lord placed us in this intercession, and we were just weeping and crying and just felt so forsaken. That, and, and I just kept quoting the word, and quoting the word, and quoting the word. And the Lord brought us through. And it was for the body. It was for, see, when you're going through stuff, it's not just for you first. It's for others. Everything Jesus went through, right here what I'm reading to you, was for us. It was for the glory of the Father. And Jesus, as a man, he stood firm to the end. He had faith. He had faith believing the Father. And he surrendered to the Father's will completely. And this angel came and strengthened him. And then, being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. It's not the other way around. The angel okay, came to him after he was sweating great drops of blood. The angel came and gave him strength so that he could pray harder in an agony. See? See, we're, when we pray, a lot of times when we're praying as Christians today, we're praying for deliverance from hard times. Jesus is praying to make it through the hard time. Hallelujah. See? Jesus said, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. The, the truth of God's word is the truth, and we need this truth in this hour right now. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose up from prayer and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. It's a very trying thing, you know. When we wake from sleep, we must begin to pray in our hearts to the Lord. We must begin to commune with God. Listen to Him. See, it's by the faith of Jesus. His faith is absolutely full. You're not saved by your faith in Christ. You would not have any faith in Christ if it wasn't the faith of Christ. Okay? Let's look at Galatians chapter 2. People say, oh, you know, some people, the acquiesce, you know, I believe in Jesus. I believe Jesus did this and did that. But what is, what is your belief? You know, what is that belief when a person says, I believe, and yet there's no fruit. There's no, the Bible says the devils believe and they tremble. And here in chapter two, it says, verse 20 it says, I am crucified, Galatians 2, I am crucified with Christ. And we have to ask ourselves, can we say that? 
I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, in this body, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. See? We live by the faith of the Son of God, not by my faith, not by your faith, but by the faith of the Son of God. Is that a perfect faith? Yeah, absolutely. Is it strong enough to persevere? Absolutely. Will it carry us through to the very end? Yes, it will. Because he went to that cross, saints, he was forsaken of his Father. You, you, can you imagine a perfect man, holy, unadulterated by sin, not touched with sin at all, never sinned one single time, conceived of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary. He was totally, completely, 100% perfect. And he suffered more than any single person could ever suffer in this whole creation of Almighty Yahweh. He suffered more. He surrendered himself to the Father's will. He said, as the Father sent me, so send I you. Are we surrendering to the Father's will? Every single day, I'll tell you our household is. Every single day. Do you trust me, saith the Lord? Will you walk this way, saith God? Yes, Lord, we will. Yes, Lord, we do trust you. Yes, Lord. But, and he says, no buts. Get rid of the buts. See? And we try to, we, we, we do, we try to do that. We, we say, Lord, teach me how to get rid of the buts. <laughs> but what about this? But what about that? But why is this happening? Or why is that? You know, this is us. We got to forget that and get our eyes on Jesus. Look, Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. It's almost like we, we read that and we think, oh, he gave me faith. <clears throat> now I have to perfect it. No, it's already perfected. It's the faith of the Son of God in us to believe, to trust, to hope, to walk in love, to walk in all the fruit of the Spirit. But then he says, i got to read it again. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. And what Paul means by that is he's not saying the law is done away with. He's saying righteousness doesn't come by that by the law. Righteousness comes by the faith of the operation of the Son of God who fulfilled the law and is fulfilling the law in us. Hallelujah. The word says in Jeremiah 31, verse 31, that God says he's going to make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Not like he wrote in, in, when he wrote on the stones, but he's going to write his law in our hearts. Oh, hallelujah. And the Bible says when a man knows the right thing to do and he doesn't do it, what he's doing? He sins. He's breaking the commandments of God. If you hate somebody, anybody, you hate a person, you hate someone, that's murder. According to the scripture. 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 3. And you can't, you can't do that. And then say, I'm going to make it to heaven. No, you're a murderer if you hate people. That's what the Word of God says. 
I'm glad we're saved by the faith of the Son of God. I am so glad. Now, uh, Ephesians chapter 3. Here we have this. Paul says, For this cause I bow my knees, verse 14, unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Oh, hallelujah. Woo, praise God. Oh, I got to back up a little bit. Let me just make sure I'm getting all this right here. Oh, hallelujah. I got it right here. I got it on a notepad. I put it on a notepad. Hallelujah. Here we go. Oh, praise God. I just have to read this since I put it on the notepad. God wants me to read it. For this cause I, Paul, verse 1, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote a four and few words, whereby when you read you may understand my knowledge of the mystery of Christ. Who praise God. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Okay. As it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister, according to the gift of the grace of of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Hallelujah. Unto me who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Unsearchable riches of Christ. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. Woo. Which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he pur purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom, in whom, in Christ, we have boldness and access, access to heaven, with confidence, by the faith of Him. See? By the faith of Christ. Not by your faith, by His faith. Oh, yes. Look what Jesus, let me go over here to Mark chapter 11. This is a, this is a scripture that I have right on my desktop. I put I made a little picture. I made I got I found a picture of a rushing stream and I put this scripture on there. And it says, Therefore I say unto you, verse 24, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Now Jesus said that. Wow. And so I said, Lord, help me to have your desire oh God your desire your desire Lord you see because we think we know so many things and we need to surrender all that knowing to the Lord we need to surrender it right now to God Father God I pray right now that we surrender all of our thoughts to you today what we think we know Lord or what we know even just surrender to you. We just surrender to you, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, as one body of Christ throughout the earth, that you would put into us, hallelujah, your desire. That you would teach us, Lord, in every trial to take delight in you, knowing that you are perfecting us, you are working in us and through us. By the operation of the faith of your Son, Jesus Christ, who finished the work on the cross, hallelujah, was forsaken of you, Father. He cried, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He became sin for us in the power, ooh, hallelujah, of that holy life, destroying death, sin, hell, the grave, the devil. 
He destroyed it all by his perfect sacrifice. Oh, Father God, we bless you. Put the operation of the faith of the Son of God deeper into us, Father. Help us to get out of the way today and let you have your finished work in us. And crush that serpent, dragon, leviathan, scorpion, snake, spirit, witchcraft spirit down under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is so powerful. We're going to talk about this this week because it's so it's so needed. It's such a needed word. His faith is full, perfected, and enough. We got to get our eyes on his faith. We got to get our eyes in his faith, in his hope, in his love. They go together. Faith, hope, and love, the three things that last. So this week we're going to talk about this. And I just know the Lord wants to show us some great and mighty things. Hallelujah. See. I mean, Jesus Christ, he suffered more than any person ever has. He stood firm in faith. And so we will as well. All by his grace and operation. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. Go forward. And don't deviate from what God said. Don't deviate when the Lord called you and said, I want you to do this. I want you to go do that. I want you to walk this way. You do not deviate. The devil's always coming to tempt to try to deviate or our flesh rises up or the world don't deviate today stay in the way with him and love him and praise him and worship him and thank him for all things and be encouraged hallelujah hallelujah i want you to know we we love you you who are listening we care about you and we pray for you every day hallelujah throughout the earth because it is we're in hard times all of us but the Lord is the one carrying us through we're making it to the finish line amen and amen and amen hallelujah praise his holy name hallelujah our email address the king's road 2000 at gmail.com also you can write behold a new thing at yahoo.com hallelujah be sure and listen to the morning devotional It's 8 a.m. Central Time, United States Time. Hallelujah. Very powerful word every day. The Lord bless you and keep you and make His holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up His holy countenance on you and grant you peace. The Lord be gracious unto you. His name, His authority, character, dominion, rule, and reign be in and upon your life today as you go forward conquering and to conquer. In the mighty humility of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen and all glory to the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name.